Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, we're in the heart of earnings season, and Apple had earnings just yesterday. On the surface, it kind of looks like something really weird happened in Apple, but in fact, it's actually a really common thing with a very clear explanation. It is the big earnings mystery for Apple. Well, here's what happened. Earnings came out yesterday, and the earnings were estimated to be a dollar, but they were actually a dollar thirty a share, thirty percent more than they were estimated. Apple just blew the doors off earnings, and you know what happened? Nothing. Apple actually went down and traded lower throughout the day. Uh, it even went below its twenty-day moving average at one point, only to close slightly above it. So why did that happen? Why did Apple have such great earnings and wasn't able to rally and in fact fell some? Well, here's the thing. It's all about expectations and expectations by the masses. And so look, there's been a lot of talk that Apple's been doing pretty well and a lot of people expected Apple's earnings to do pretty well. And guess what? When they did, they ended up buying it going into earnings. And look, you can see that run up in the chart here from the end of May all the way up until a few days ago when it made a new all-time high. So what happened is an even better earnings than what actually happened ended up getting priced into the stock. And so those analysts who do fundamental analyses, they price in these new earnings, they get a new intrinsic value for the stock, and it turns out that the stock actually was overpriced, even based on these phenomenal earnings. So that's pretty interesting. This is something that happens on a pretty regular basis, and uh, I think there's a lot of mystery around that, but it's really not a big mystery. It's all just about what's priced in. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.